Yeah, I guess that would be kind of a turn on. A girl in a top hat calling you a degenerate. <laughs> yeah, so I, I fantasize about that all the time. <laughs> Well, yeah, the Nazi thing doesn't work for me. I have a problem with that Nazi thing. Yeah, yeah, whatever. It's just, it's, you know, there's just too many, too many bad traumas associated with that whole Holocausty stuff. Neat. We are the knights that say neat. <laughs> I really like that one. That was just so good. He's a shrubber. <laughs> you know. So anyway, somebody, yeah, we're getting a little slow here. I'm actually re reading text, which is really fucked up. Yeah, well, I don't know how you're going to organize people to do anything. That's the whole problem. It's just so fucking hard. So until that gets done, I will rape you. I will rape you. I will rape you. I will rape you. You just raped everybody in the room, fucktard. Brilliant. Not read this, Gary. <laughs> well, good. You, 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 I mean, you all keep reading your shit just because you, you write like I do. <laughs> Oh, there's Lefty. Hey, Lefty. So did you see, did you see that magnificent display of judicial temperament? Wasn't it really magnificent? Of course, I was wrong again. I, I did everything wrong again, you'll say, because, oh, yeah, I approached it all wrong, because I said, yeah, uh, yep, so I, whoop, I really fucked it up. I won't say that, <clears throat> because um, his objection isn't... Um, it's fair on the rules of the courtroom, but it's not uh, sufficient to do anything to you. So he can object in a way, but he can't he can't do anything like throw the case out or do anything meaningful with that. So it's, even though it's fair, he, he's still precluded from the option he's trying to exert. How is it fair? How is it fair to say I can't have a teleconference? How is that fair? That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying. His response to you is fair in the in the terms of the courtroom to say when you say yeah he can fuck with you back, but he can't fuck with you back enough to say you can't to to not have a to not have a teleconference. That's what I said. Well, even that doesn't make any sense. I've been in these teleconferences. Like I said, usually the judge gets on the phone and he says, "Hey, people, how you doing?" I mean, there's casual conversation before you get to the serious matters, and so he just got too fucking serious way too fucking quick. What would you expect? You 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 had his boss tell him he's a fucktard. What'd you expect? I don't I don't think he thinks they're his boss. I think he thinks it's just some assholes interfering in his fucking kingdom. Well, I think you're right about that in terms of his attitude, but he has no choice in the matter, really. Well, he appears to think he has a goddamn choice, Lefty. Is he right or wrong? That's the question. You're really pissing me off. Why? Uh, you, what, you think it's a complex question whether he's right or wrong? Did you hear no. the three fucking minutes? He asked a bunch of irrelevant questions. He asked, uh... Oh, who's, who's representing the plaintiff? Every one of my documents says I'm a goddamn pro se, Lefty, you dumb fucking cunt.
Get the fuck out of here. God, you piss me off. He didn't ask one relevant question in that whole three fucking minutes. Not one question. When he asked, have you ever tried a case in federal court? Completely fucking relevant. Nothing. There's nothing he can do with that answer. Not one goddamn thing. It's completely meaningless to the process. That's like asking a professional baseball player. Oh, well, you're a professional ba baseball player. You have a contract. You're being paid. And I should ask him, well, how many years have you played professional baseball? Why, why, that, why would it be fucking relevant? It would be completely irrelevant. I'm not just talking to him, you dumb shit. I'm talking to any other fucktard who thought he was making any sense at all. The judge was out of his motherfucking mind. The procedure was completely illegal and unconstitutional. Period. to talk about AIDS viruses, please, or whatever H1N1 is, <laughs> you know, fuck it. Oh, swine flu, oh, that's a technical name, what the fuck, look, I've already talked about it, it's a really, it's really contagious, we know that because people get it in the summertime, which most viruses don't survive well with high ultraviolet light. So, yeah, it's a, it's maliciously contagious, but it's not that bad a flu. I mean, it'll kill a few people, but it's not that much worse than a regular flu. But it's bad. I mean, it's who the fuck wants to be sick and die? You so, yeah, sure that you're not be. You can get Ted's point at all, but whatever. i got to let the cat in. Hold on. to go wandering about. You can only stay on the couch. That's it. Couch privileges. That's it. Yeah, you dumb ass. God, it's just so irritating. Why is there any fuckers in this goddamn room who don't even watch any of my videos? I mean, god damn you fuckers. Go to the website, do not god dot com. It's really simple. Do not god. See, it's actually my name. Do not god dot com. And, you know, the video is there, you dumb ass. Stupid fuckers. Oh, get out of here, please. Stupid goddamn little twats. <laughs> 